Right, I'm videoing this because I don't think anybody would believe me if I told you what was about to happen. So yesterday, I'll show you down at the lock what happened, but we lost our tiller and the tiller arm and it's in the bottom of that lock. Okay. So, I'm walking towards the lock. Mr. B is already there. And he's going to take out as much water as he can from the lock by opening the gate paddles. There's the boat. And it's cold and it's raining. It's rained all night, in fact. So here we go. Guess what's about to happen? Yes, Mr. B. He's going in. He's going in to get the tiller arm. So, the lock's filled up overnight. It wasn't this full yesterday. So as you can see, it looks very cold, very wet, very uninviting, and the tiller is down there. So I'm going to locate it with the magnet, and then Mr. B is going in. So Mr. B's gone back to get the dog lead because this piece of string on the magnet, which I'm going to use to locate the tiller, isn't long enough. This is a very deep lock. Okay, so we've located the tiller with the magnet, so I'm holding it still now, so Paul can go in. There he is. It is absolutely freezing. I've already told him my concerns so he could die of a heart attack because the water's so very cold. He's got to go all the way down there, come across here, then he's got to find it and then he's got to get all the way back out. Anyway, he insists on doing it. So here we go. This is madman at work. This is a madman. Yeah. Do you think you better take your shoes off? No, I've taken his shoes off. In he goes, in he goes. Mind over matter, he said. Mind over matter. Oh my god, you are mad. You are mad. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. See, I had to film it, you wouldn't have believed me. You would not have believed me that this madman is swimming in a lock in October. It's nine degrees, that's the air temperature. God knows what bloody temperature it is down there. Right, there you go. No, 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 don't go down. Oh my God, no, don't go down. Don't go down. Can you touch the bottom? Oh, Paul, don't do it. Come on, get out. Please. Fine. How can it be fine? How can it be fine? It's not fine, is it? Come on. Can you see the line? Going down. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh. Could you see it? I will now to get the towels. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, I need to take my time on here. Come on, Dots. Out the way, baby. Dossie, come on, out the way. Dossie, come here. Oh. 
<laughs> Say that again to the camera. Wasn't too bad. So what happened yesterday was I was in the lock, water was filling up, this boardwalk crossed the gate. Normally that would be on the opposite side, on the outside, on this side. So I'm coming up, the water's almost Reach this level, pause at the paddle down there, and I realised the tiller arm was wedged under there. By the time I shouted to him to drop the paddles, it was too late. The tiller arm bent completely over and snapped off, which, to be honest, was a really lucky thing because it could have sunk the boat. The pressure being trapped under there could have pushed the bow of the boat down, the stern of the boat down, and we could have sunk. So, there you go. Anyway, Mr B's heroic attempts at retrieving the tiller from the bottom of the lock failed. So now, we need to take some measurements and get the original boat builder to build one for us. So in the meantime, boat is parked here, just outside Ripon.